am I wasting time? Cause I'm already gone So long Can you stay the night? Cause you're the thing I want I want I know you're feeling different when you're stressed out But even with no makeup you still stand out Cause no one makes me feel the way you do now you do now The way that you move your body You make it look like a hobby Every time that you touch me It's electricity Things we discovered Underneath last night's covers Everything came so easy It's electricity on my mind it's finally sinking in you're it i know you're feeling different when you're stressed out but even with no makeup you still stand out cause no one makes me feel the way you do now like you do To the official Goonty Eye coverage of George Fowl Man and Grill versus Team Spherical. As I'm your host, Red List, for this panel, as joined this time by Matey and NZ FedEx. Welcome, welcome to the car. Hello. Hello. Bonjour, Red List. Bonjour. It's <laughs> Bonjour. an honor and privilege to be here. It's... Oh, and you're I've excited. To... It. You're excited to see some Dota today? <laughs> Dota. Dota's one word. <laughs> entertainment's another oh very entertaining <laughs> as always uh chat you'll get more monkey between the between game one and game two all right stop fucking stop wanting electricity we've got uh we've got we've got a match up we've got a what have we got is this group what group is this this is group b 
We've got a Group B matchup for you yep. today between uh, George Foreman and Grill, Team Spherical. Team Spherical. Also, oh, draft is start. Oh, team draft team. side. Right, hang on. Yep. Let's get into that draft. So, we have Team Spherical. Team Spherical off to a very good start in Group B so far. They're 5 and 1. I believe the only team so far to take a game off Mancalf, who are one of the favourites in the group. <laughs> George Foreman and Grill, not. not 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 too a, a different story let's say currently zero four this is their third series i'll have to see how they recover <laughs> i'm not familiar with them but you know they got time to is this the, the classic the throne race team is that the george four uh yes they they had yeah, a yeah, they had a very close finisher with them um, with Team Stray that Ted yeah. reviewed on stream. <laughs> that was beautiful. Right. Obviously, the, the star player that we're looking out for on George Foreman and Grill, that would be Scotty Dotes. This is after Ban and I'm with Renzo from Territory. And the Classic Warlock. The OD Ban's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if they just don't like playing against OD, or if... I mean, probably, I think uh, right now they're just going with their guts. Because I don't think they know each other very well, unless I'm mistaken. So maybe they're banning uh, things they don't want to play against. That makes sense. Warlock, Warlock is very strong right now, so that's shit that to go. Yeah, well, uh, like, we're gonna have to ban Driver here. I will just pick it. Invoker. Okay. 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 So. Boom, cat. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the first pick, Pudge. This is. Now, Fed, you want some entertainment. This will be your entertainment for this evening. <laughs> this is it. Oh. My camp. I'm going to be on Pudge Cam today. You can be on Pudge Cam, nice. Got my That's what we want to see. Out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on Hook Cam. Uh, NC FedEx already. We are how how far are we into this cut? How far are we into this into this stream? We're seven minutes in, and FedEx has already been called out by his coach in Twitch chat for first picking Ember. Oh, he, he, he wants me to. I'm just doing his bidding. Ooh, Jairo. We are seeing like a little, like a little, like a little mini meta, like form in in Goonti Eye already, which is interesting. Yeah. You know, I think I've seen, I think I've seen more Phase Two Gyro bands <laughs> in this tournament than any like. I've seen more, I've seen more Gyro bands in these games than I have any of the pubs that I've watched. Yeah, yeah, it's actually good pass for Dyro, so that's understandable. Just the first pick at all <laughs> was bad. The first phase. People, people love this tide. They love the tide. Uh, Ari, I'm not sure if you're in chat. <laughs> is um, is Team Spherical the 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 team of four brothers <laughs> and a ginger friend, or is that another team? <laughs> so apparently, their position three, I, I got. Um, more than 10, 100 games than uh, any other hero on Tide, so Edifier say we we had to ban it against them, and they let it through. So okay. It's gonna be interesting, I guess. Team Spherical all met on a bus to Poland. That is that is very interesting. <laughs> uh, Team Spherical, I like their pick so far. They've got pretty... I'm worried, I'm worried that this Titan might get punished in some way, though, in the lane. It should be, though, innit? That's like... Well, they ban Ursa. What? Yeah. But the George Foreman and Grill <laughs> banning their own Ursa. Yeah, they, <laughs> like, they ban the, yeah. the Ursa. There is this... This lad is not bad against... He likes prolonged fights. So in lane, it might be a nuisance for the Titan. Hmm. I'll be interested. Really strong combos with it, but you you get abused in lane. That's sort of like, tied to the game plan hero rather than the, the lane hero. 
Mm. You like um, you remember, remember in the live laugh looting days. You like a you like a good strong hero to rally around. Exactly. Unfortunately, we didn't have a didn't have a ballsy player to rally around. No, you didn't have a you didn't have an offline player who liked playing like that. <laughs> Oracle. Okay. Oh, Pudge Oracle. And <laughs> and a Viper. Viper. No, no, the classic no stun lineup so far on George yeah. Foreman and Grill. But you don't need stuns when you're running at people. Think of it. You're gonna have a Bloodstone Pudge. <laughs> bloodstone Viper. <laughs> <and> an Oracle. <laughs> that also has a Bloodstone. <laughs> Exactly. Bloodstone Axe Rush. <laughs> the Sheldon Oracle's now the, the rain, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah the, the, like, it was the Axe, it, it went to, to Shard without a, even having a, a nerf, so, you know. It kind of, kind of speaks to how it was as an Axe, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as a Shard, I think it's, it's nice. Not game changing, but you know. Yeah, I love it. I, I like it as an I like it as a shard. I don't play Oracle, but I like having an Oracle on my team. Who can make it rain. <laughs> uh, as we move to Spherical's third pick. Um Spherical double on double pick, pick here now. with the new pick order. Yeah. What do you pick here? Do you pick do you commit for your other side lane or do you um or do you pick your mid hero, do you think? Uh, He's Viper mid hero. I always like I always prefer picking my. If I don't have last pick, just just pick your like mid laner here, because you're always going to get like counter picked or have the unfavorable matchup. Yeah. But you sort of want a like a decent lane or something or like a decent decent game for your character, no, so you can like cool. do stuff Ooh. on the map while well there. Okay. Uh, Dawnbreaker Terrorblade. So this could potentially maybe. be potentially be pause for Dawnbreaker. This is. They have no stuns, so this is They're a really good stuns. TP game. Um, yeah. <laughs> Are you worried at all about the high magic damage off lane? Because I feel like you just outscale it. You just leave well, lane when you have to, and then you just hit creeps. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you can they... do the old um, LGD thing when they had RMA, and they just play, played um, TB every game versus Viper. You just um, try lane the Viper. And you get like reflection, and you just bully him. Now it's easy to do with blood grenades. And then mm. when you get level three, then you just fuck off as the TB. Like you've just denied like three raves and meta. And then you're like, right, this lane's miserable now. And then I've... you just jungle. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, especially when you're first picking your tide hunter. You don't really care about his lane. He's gonna do his job. <laughs> like... Yeah. I mean, maybe uh... for four months they could go. Or nearly push trap, not giving the oh. time to the your line, the necro. Okay. Okay, that is they are really doubling down on magic damage. Um Viper Shard hasn't changed, is it? It's still the um no, it's the, the minus armor on the extra stacks, yeah, minus armor and tower. Cool. Okay, so unchanged from last year. I know this was something that Live Laugh Luton used a lot because of they were playing around how their offlaner played the game. Uh, Nate, for for legal reasons, we shall not name who the player was, but um, a lot of strats came about because of this viper and getting that early shard, just able to take towers by himself. But I am extremely concerned at the lack of building push that George Foreman and Grill have currently picked. I do have none, but I, I do love a draft where we've got no tower pushes. <laughs> I yeah. do love a draft. Oh, we can kill oh, all of them. Yeah. Oh, but we can't get anything. Yeah, but we can't. Yeah. <laughs> They're using all the reserve time for this ban. Ah, oh, well, I wonder who else would use all of their reserve time and then right, great. and then <laughs> miss a ban <laughs> because of it. Because Emu crashed, his Dota crashed, <laughs> God or something. Sake. It froze. <laughs> so he was. Left. At least it was on back. a. At least he it was on back. a ban and not a fucking pick because yeah. that could have been disastrous. But he, but he came back with like 30 seconds left on the ban and he just thought it was the yeah. enemy team's ban. Um, <laughs> okay, it. so what we got? We've got Puck ban, PL ban. I feel like Puck would have actually Puck would have actually been a really good mid pick for Spherical. That would have really tied this draft together. They've got so much damage, but they just lack control. I saw someone who can sit in front of towers and uh, with low commit was supposed to de push it. 
Looks like, like a bristle bag, something like. like... Yeah. Just like some cheap low committal nuke, because you don't really want to commit into a necro viper or... mm. But it also. Maybe Lena for the. For the I don't cool. know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no to Lena. I think Lena could work well here. You kind of have to play around to the outside of the fight a bit, but um, I feel like, what's the build on Lena now? The magic damage build is Ether Lens first, isn't it? With the um, uh, with yeah, the new hands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mana boots into Ether Lens into whatever you want. Like, like either, either I think they need uh, something fast, like a blood seeker. You get off. Oh, okay, I. I don't dislike it. I I don't I don't hate it against Terrorblade. Terrorblade is not the he's not the late game hyper carry that he was before. Jug also does all right versus him. Like the tempo with the uh, healing ward. It's good. I am very concerned though on how George Foreman are gonna take are gonna take these fights. It's um it's very awkward. They That's haven't what got. Mean? They haven't got these. They haven't got this big team fight ult to use. But, and uh, uh, spherical, spherical have got at least two right now. <laughs> yeah, but they don't have big cooldowns on Forman. Maybe side. Mm. I really hope, and to... I'm just hoping this is a Scotty punch. That's all I want. They... <laughs> Come on, give me Scott. Give me Scotty Pudge. Give me position four Viper. Let's see Pudge Viper off lane duo. I feel like you just start with two supports and against the Viper. And have they literally the picked four? Forward. Have they literally picked five, four, three, two, one on George Foreman and Grill? Razor. Ah. Uh, uh. And a Razor last pick coming out from Team Spherical. It is good versus Viper. It is very good versus Okay. Viper. It looks like it is Braxy playing the Pos4 Pudge. Okay. Okay, and... Vision to Viper against the Fairblade. Uh... Who is, um... Who is Spherical's Pos5? I think he's... Moist. Don't quote me on that, please, but... Yeah, I think it's the Moist Goblin. We played against them in a scrim. Okay. Oh, you scrimmed Sc them? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, we won a game when we uh, got our big old Joe to come and pause one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> they say... Bird save is Clavis Heimbel, the, the 5-0 in our I'm gonna double check that. Okay. So, Moist, Moist is the 4th. Okay. Mostly. So Dawn Break the five. Unless they're gonna swap unless they're gonna switch it up. Makes a bit more sense to have uh Terrorblade I would I would I would count Terrorblade as a ranged hero. He's ranged most of the time. Well yeah, you don't want enough to of take the time. Fights, but he's a ranged boy, consider. Anyway, who do we like? Who do we like for going off these drafts? I think Spherical's draft is much better put together just on yeah. the others. You've got save, you've got big team fight, you've got Razor, which is really good versus the uh, the Viper in early game. Like, you can just mm. run him down. You don't really, if you get scythed, you've got, um, what you call it, a revenge swap for the damage reduction. Does that still apply? Swap um, for damage reduction, or is that just avenge? I think so. Either that, or you've got a Dawnbreaker ult to come in. Um, and the one, the one thing that I do really like that I hadn't mentioned yet, um, George Foreman and Grill have gone for this one physical damage hero, and the Razor is just gonna. That just gives Razor yeah. a free target, and then all your physical damage is gone. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go uh, over to the game. The, the minus damage does, does not go away in the Omnis Nurse, right? I don't Do believe the... so, no. No, you don't. It just does so. Why are they doing anything? They're just standing around. You just stand, stand there looking like a twat. Let's jog. Right, Dead Mouse music pack is on. Turn that off. Oh, disgusting. Sorry, everything is on shuffle. I mean, right now we're playing with the desert terrain with the ash weather effect, which means it's the most red map anyone has ever seen. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't use effects. They um lag up my game too much. <laughs> that makes sense. 
That makes way too much sense, actually. <laughs> Jesus, look at the I... size of that pudge hat. <laughs> look how sick this hat is. Oh no. Oh no. Pudge in the gaff. <laughs> pudge in the gaff. Absolutely fat. Right. Oh, smoke coming out oh, from the FNG. Oh, I need to zoom out. They might run. They might run straight into Clavic Himbell if he's not. If he's not careful. Hook. Come on. Do it. Do they see him? See him. They see do him. It. There's a hook. Hook. Look, what is hook. That? He's AFK. No. They're going to get Clavic Kempel on the first blood. Doesn't Ooh. make it over the cliff. Oh, yes, Braxy. That's a flesh heap in the back. Um. Oh, no. Flesh heap in the back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That, that's the thing we need to consider. That the dire team can scale with flip and sides. I feel for like this radiant bot rune. You either bring five people, you just don't contest it at all. No. Bring everyone to the top too. Yeah, uh, I feel like Dawnbreaker did have no. Dawnbreaker had no reason to be there. Dawnbreaker, by the way, starting with a quelling blade, which is very interesting on the boss five. You've got to cut those trees to to scout Pudge. Uh, scout that Pudge. yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense actually. That that could that could be a real thing. Uh, we can see in the 32 <laughs> game. How do we feel? I'm not a mid player fed. You're our you're our mid expert right now on this cast. Um, sorry, oh. matey. You're our, oh, you're, our, you're our Italian. You're our Italian expert. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about this mid match up between Razor and Necro? Um, I think it's pretty uh, Razor favored. Because he's got very low damage, he likes to secure CS with Death Pulse and stuff, but he can't really do that versus a Razor with... He's going to have like 100 damage. Yeah, we can see that already with him stealing 34 yeah. damage. And you've got low as fuck um, uh, armor on Razor, so you can you do take part of as well. him. It's hard sometimes when you think about it, because you think, okay, well Razor's only stolen 34 damage from me, but it's not really 34 damage, is it? It's... Really, it's it's sixty eight because he's got plus thirty four, and you've got and minus you've got thirty four. Mana, you've got to commit as well. Also, it's a uh, you don't really want to get denied, like your coot's denied versus the necro. So, like the easier of it is for you to CS because you got a new cans a lot more damage. Yeah. It's a lot easier for Razor to play. He thinks a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble in the top lane. Obnod. Ob not already, already completely out of mana, <laughs> as he has to put down the healing ward. But meanwhile, uh, first uh, meta, first kill on Viper, and no more oh. skill on Paz before. Very nice. Um, I was a bit concerned about how this lane was going to go for GF for GF and G. Oh, it's a good oh, hook. Oh, 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 it's a hook. 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 Oh, just, oh, he doesn't get the slow, unfortunately. I think that's two hooks, two hits though. Good shit from Braxy. Oh, did I? Again, going to be a bit of a slow start to this game. Neither team, both teams, look like they're just waiting for their, they're waiting for their ults before they make any major moves. Necrofo is currently on minus nine right click. Let's raise him stolen <laughs> all of his damage. <laughs> Oh, ob not. Sorry, obst. Yeah, he's got a lot of denies. Like, Too many, I say. By Jove, this necro got a deny. <laughs> by Jove. Get him out of here. Oh, just start. Come on, you can do it. Harass necro under the tower quite a bit. That was there trouble down bot? No, a little bit of a push. Both teams. Teams maneuvering around each other right now, pretty, pretty um, well. Neither team, both teams just want to get their farm. They want to get their. They want to. Both, te both teams, I think, really, are just trying to get their boots. Bra oh, oh, this is a kill top. Oh, meta used Braxy. Forked. Oh, of course. Any time this uh, Venge, if if she wants to use the portal and come back, it's a it's a free kill every time. Can we get some? Uh, can we get some uh, some camera in chat? <laughs> After missing two kills in a row. After looking bot, seeing the Oracle dying, looking top, and then also missing the kill on the punch. <laughs> um I forgot what I was gonna say now. 
Oh yeah, uh, Braxy. Braxy queuing up the blade mail immediately. <laughs> Love it. The level two punch with tranks and a blade mail queued up. This man knows what he's about. This is indeed Viper Four. No, it's not. It's Viper it? Three. I don't it's Punch know. Four. <laughs> he just died like two times from Viper. Scotty is the offlaner for for uh, for George Foreman and Grill. What oh, a hook! Come on! Oh, we got to the Thank slow you. off. Will it be Thank enough? You. It will not be enough. Braxy retreating. Oh no! I mean, the hooks have been great though. Yeah, good accuracy. Shout out to Braxy. What? Are you? We've got we've got a thousand gold sitting on TV, just unused. No, he doesn't need to spend it, mate. Items are overrated. Yeah. He's just gone. He's got his tread satin stash. <laughs> 300 gold in the bank. Oh no. Money in the bank. Absolutely bad. Fat stacks. Though, that's brutal. And, uh, I love the in your... okay. Vent rotating mid, getting pinged out by Kamaya UK. <laughs> yeah. Moist Goblin really trying to make something happen. Ah. Uh. Oh, he's come to secure the six minute rune, but he's come way too early. Yeah, now you've just <laughs> delayed his six. But he'll get off the strange. Now stick against the tide at the top. This might be the go. As Moist Coblin throws the stun, ulting yeah. on the razor, that's a dead necrophose. Very nice, very nice. Not the, uh. Not the most exciting game so far, despite that it's been four kills. It feels very, um, it feels a bit yeah. passive, this one. There hasn't been a missed hook. That's there. Yeah, Braxy. My oh, man. Our oh, man in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that some, the, the shade, um, The James May show, James yeah. May one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Razor getting some jungling jungle. done. Even Razor's jungling at this point. <laughs> he's got his region, I think he's just making use of it. Yeah. Just getting as much value as he can out of it. I feel like everyone's just trying to get as much God, as they can out of this first man. 10 minutes. Nice. Oh. No. They know about the wisdom runes. <laughs> Clava Gimbal's already there. This could Bye, be. Yes. Oh. Right. Dragon up. Ian. They've Three mana. Said... Right. They've warded under, under vision in the mid lane, so that should be a free D warder. Oh, oh. Razor going again on Kamaya in the mid lane. Ults for it. All of these, uh, yeah, that's a very, very yeah, dead it? necrophose. Lots of TPs is coming it? in. Is it? Oh, it trades! Oh, oh. nice. Two TPs. Suddenly, he died first on XP. He, but... he gets the Reaper Scythe stack. That's all that matters right now. I did not know that you got that. You got a, you get stacks while dead. That's amazing. See, oh, Scott is going to be movement. very big, very, very fast. Double the last hit as the top. It's got his Falcon Blade. Going for going for Dragon Lance next. This man knows what he's about. It's all about full stats. Uh, Necro, they, Necro, they know you don't have all. <laughs> Like, I'm not sure what you can do to this Terror Blade. You just run at this Viper now, on mid. Oh, get that loot. The illusion are in so good. Though. Yes, Scotty! Yes! <laughs> Juggernaut. Um, we haven't talked a lot about Juggernaut, but Obnor is... Uh, he's been punished. He's, he's been had, yeah. yeah. In a lane, that sh should really be going your way. Yeah. Spartan map. Spartan Matt has not actually used any of the regen that he brought to lane either. Like, I'm pretty sure he's been healed entirely off these Oracle heals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice to watch. Nice. It's a really good raindrop game as well, so it's very cool. Yeah, that lad's by raindrops. Uh, Obst is actually queuing up the BKB already, so I think it's going to be that kind of game. Uh, very nice. There's, yeah, there's a pipe on tide. It's 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 gonna be a rundown anytime. Oh, what the hook, me? Oh, 
Oh, I know what this show. Oh my god. He got Moist Goblin. They, they're going to get him. They get the ult off on him, but he's just avenge support. They're going to trade kills for this. Oh. I think that was another hook used, right? Another hook hit. Yeah. So but they can just TP out. Out, yeah. they don't have any stuns, <laughs> no! For the oh. next 20 minutes, every time TB uses meta, it should be a tower gone or, or like a big team fight one. Like this. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh no, look at, look at, look top. <laughs> Fucking Tidehunter just does not give a shit. Tidehunter is just <laughs> anger smashing the jug, like, off cooldown. Check I should probably buy one of them ones. Quite a good item. Yeah. Mm. Bit late now, but you know. Oh, rumble and rumble down mid. Who missed hook? No. Doorbreaker ult used. It's gonna stun it's three of them. I feel like Raze is really gonna clean up here with so much stolen damage. Three shots it's to punch. So good. That's nice shot. Very nice. Triple kill. Um. An obst. Obst with <laughs> the triple kill. Spherical. With a 6k net worth lead <laughs> at, um, at 10 minutes. It's not looking good for them. Um, you've got Terrorblade, who is almost 2k net worth ahead of your jug. You've got Razor, who is destroyed mid and is 2k ahead of the Necrophos. Almost at BKB at 10 minutes. What can uh, What do you think that George Foreman can do to kind of stabilise right now? Uh... I don't know. If you avoid, they're gonna push your lane to the throne. If well, you've you got fight, a... uh, you lose. I don't know. Well, you, you sort of know where TB's gonna be farming. You've got Scythe up. You've got all your st Oh my god, I'm just watching some Jug spin down camps. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was watching as well. Scythe, you, you've, got, you've got a Pudge hook. Just, just fucking smoke up, throw them out. Bosh. Is this, the, is this the time that you have to kind of identify who your strongest hero is and just rally around one hero? I think it's it's more knowing that they've got no spells so you can sort of get away with shit on the map. Because they are like quite hard to kill when uh, the George mm -hmm. Grill I mean, team. Uh, it's quite hard to kill when the, the Spherical don't have all their spells and oh. stuff. But the position 5 don't break it is... Uh... Richard and the position 3 Viper. <laughs> I see. Oh, here comes Braxy. Braxy going for a hook. They see everyone. Misses oh. two. No, Braxy. Oh, no, but now they're just going to turn on Spherical. Oh, Spobs oh. is behind them. Don't go, Necro. Run. Don't go in. Run, Kamaya. Run from that net. Run from that venge. You're going to get swapped. Opens up a, opens up a oh. path. Just misses. Voice Goblin really wants to swap the Necro. Well, this TB's taking mid. That's what we need. At Shmupster. See, team's doing stuff. Oh, no. Oh, Kamaya's dead as He's well. They're even committing oh. the Dawnbreaker ult. Ooh. Misses the stun. Doesn't oh. matter, though. Yeah. Oh, it's not this looking good. Yeah. Unbelievably good racer game. They just don't do anything to him. <laughs> he just runs someone down. He's got his BKB. Um. <laughs> George Foreman and Grill maybe overcommitted a little bit on this um, pick magic damage draft. <laughs> because... I mean, uh, it's not like the magic damage, it's the lack of synergy a bit, I think. <sighs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, if you've got more stuns, that means you've got less because, magic uh, damage. To be honest, magic damage against the TV is always good. You have no no control. I think you are right though. It's been um it's been a consistent issue with the George Foreman and Grill games, um, which is you you just pick you kind of just pick heroes. You don't really pick like you don't really think about like how we're gonna win the lane. You just kind of pick heroes that do damage without thinking about how you're actually gonna get to use the damage. Like in theory, in theory, punch. In theory, uh, Pudge Viper, that is a lot of damage in that lane. Like, a lot of magic damage. It doesn't matter if you can't use it. <laughs> yeah. And if you're yeah. killing someone, it's probably going to be like the Dawnbreaker, who is going to dish out a lot of damage in return. Hmm. Uh, oh, raise okay. him in again. I see with a haste. He gets, he gets, the, he gets the shield rune. 
But I don't know if this is going to save you for the amount of right click from this razor. Oh, uh, no. It's like such a no, it's just gonna He's got BKB, me. he's just going to turn. Yeah. Oh no, and here he? comes the swap. Oh my god, he, he's so big. Oh, Durenbrong's going to pay with his life. Scott, he might pay as well. Oh, Durenbrong oh, himself, god. but I oh. feel like he's very dead. I don't think anyone... Yeah, 13k at 40 minutes. I think this is where you stop looking at where your jug is on the map and start pinging him. No, I don't think that... <laughs> I don't think that... You know what, actually? No, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm a big fan. I was saying this on cast the other day. I'm a big fan of the how the how the tip meta has evolved. Like, tipping your own teammates for fucking up is hilarious. But not like... <laughs> No, but he's, look at where he is on the map. You can, there's, a, there's a top wave there. And you know they've got yeah. four heroes. And, we, had this with, we had this with Team Stray. Just heroes love to be in this top area. I think it might have been Obnot who did this on Bloodseeker in the, in the first game that we cast of them. Obnot loves to farm this top area. Hates going to the wave. He hates it. It's fine if like you can't go to the wave or whatever. I'm in the wave at the same time, but like your team is um your team is losing a team fight on the other side of the map. You can definitely go to the creep wave. Andrew Jug, like you've got healing ward. It's not you've got blade max out blade view. You do you do do damage. I want to see kind of like just show up. So like AMs when they show up to fights, which is like oh, a man of or something. George Foreman and Grill are trying to make a play on this razor. He spot he showed on creep wave. But he has backed all the way off to get these lotuses. They're prepping for the big cheese later, obviously. Yeah, I don't think you kill this uh, race. We are at 87%. And he's got bots. Then it is, I think. I can believe that. Looking at the net worths, it is not looking good. Yeah. Both supports now ahead of the offlane Viper. Poor Scotty Dose. Almost got his Manta. Yeah. TB's going to be ready to fight forever soon. Do you reckon he goes BKB after Manta? Or do you not think he needs it? If he's good enough, he'll play around it, right? Uh, mm. you, Pike's quite good this game as well. They can get away with Pike, but Ooh. if you just want to win it, you go BKB. Oh, hang on. What's going on in the top lane? Razor wants to fight. Razor in. BKB's just before the dismember. I don't know if it matters because Scotty will die immediately, and I think that Braxy is getting Met, slapped meta down. Use, though. Meta use and Zagrat was the fucking well, thing. This is a free Roshan. This is the one thing that we didn't want to happen, and it's officially three two two. We did it, chat. We got oh, one. The reverse two three two two. Get that illusion in the pit. <laughs> Move out of the way! <laughs> there we go. Oh, a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Don't really know what's going on in here in the jungle. <laughs> or the, um... why, why are the two minus armor heroes not, not near the pit? <laughs> that's, a very good, that's a very good point. Moist Goblin trying to farm a Hellbear Smasher. Uh, <laughs> What do we know? What do we know about the Hellbear Smashers? Commonly referred to as the Tomato. Uh. Oh, finally, Roshan's arm has been reduced. This is an extremely slow Rosh, considering they have Tide Hunter and Venge. Oh, and right, TB. What you, you do now? And then you Sunday your Venge, and you fucking. <laughs> He's really low. Just sunder your bench. Just yeah. sunder your bench. No, dude, find an enemy to sunder. <laughs> I mean, like the old uh, blink armlet strat on, uh, on TB. Oh, yes, the blink armlet Dagon. <laughs> <laughs> Did that one in the last Pegasus. Hornet? <laughs> it's a hornet. There's a hornet. There's a bug in his room. His career won't do anything. Oh fucking hell! It's uh, this bug. Smile, please. Yeah, the new we'll client has uh, sort of been. Uh... Yeah, it's been a. It's a bit dog shit. Um, I kind of hope they fix it before TI next month, but who knows? Well, this uh, happened in uh, TI eleven as well, and Nisha told them to. 
to, to unlock all the components. Oh. <laughs> like Tundra wasn't doing that. Courier is a lazy ass. Is that a pun? Get that guy out of it. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, Fed, how do you feel about uh, being called out as the guy who abuses bugs? <laughs> well, I, I did buy a soul ring and I abused the shit out of it. Is that an admission? I, 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 an admission was, of guilt live on this Twitch stream? I thought, fuck weebs, I'm letting him have it. <laughs> that was it. Okay. As uh, Teams for a call return to pushing the top tower in. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what uh, George Foreman and Grill can do because they can try and delay for this jug, this but the jug is, is so hard. far what behind. To do is uh, cut waves and hope for the best. I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. You can go head on against any this uh, razor with BKB right behind him. Uh, disgusting. I'm um, I'm a big fan of the Pudge build. I'm a big fan of Braxy, um, and his and his innovative Pudge. But I don't know if this helps you at all. The Blade Mail. <laughs> I feel like this is a this is a drastic misunderstanding of how Razor works. Reflected damage is not. Uh... <laughs> Does not go through BKB, right? Um, well, it's the I think I believe it's the same damage type returned, but Razor is quite a high armor hero. So, oh, there we go. Ravage oh, used, BKB oh, yeah. used. This game is completely nice. out. Oh. I don't like to call it, but there's no sure. shame in calling this game right here, lads. And their pulse fives getting a triple kill. <laughs> Turns up with a battle fury for the first fight. <laughs> I don't know, the, the downbreak you rule did, did make him time to get, get down and they were already all dead, so... Yeah, well like we said, like we said a couple of times in the groups, in this group stage, sometimes we are going to have these unfortunate mismatches, but, you know, you take, you take away, you take away from these games what you can. Uh, maybe just don't try this draft again, like think more <laughs> about lane combos, um, but we'll see how... We'll see if George Foreman and Grill, they're, they're going to stay in it. They're good sports. And uh, Spherical, respecting the the amount of damage that George Foreman and Grill do have, respecting the Necro ult. Yeah, I think that... I think all the kills were from uh, Oak Necro ult and the first blood. So, yeah, to sight and uh, a hook. Yeah, that's true. I think of a Vietnam-style flashback to... Um, <laughs> To die into the necro, or I believe that Pudge Pudge has got one of the kills. Braxy's doing it. Yeah, in the first blood on the Dawnbreaker, both top. Anyway, matey, I added some. Uh, I'm not sure if you got my stream open, but matey, I added some uh, some some bonus tags to the stream because I knew you were coming on today. Let's uh, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, uh. you, you're gonna get some um, un unsavorable people if you that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who is looking for the pineapple on pizza like Twitch tag, but um, that, uh, I think? it's on there now. Psychopaths, psychopaths yeah. will be looking for it. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, spherical. Right, Ags on Razor. Yeah. Big item. Big okay. item. He really wants to... I feel like Obst has just spent most of this game trying to get out of this game as quickly as possible. Maybe he's uh, busy after. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he's got, he's got somewhere to be. <laughs> what is going on mid? Good lord, what is happening in there? <laughs> It is unbelievably hard to throw this game against dire heroes. Let's check some graphs. 
There they are. They're giving the big 95. They can do it. Fight me, oh, No, Viper, you, you can get the Philosopher's first stone. There is a butterfly on the old. Uh, on a core, you, you, you One thing I. Oh my god, you saw how much that blade mail helped him. Um, oh, okay, and. Okay, and yeah, Necro died too terribly it's under the under the shrine. Just yeah, call it. Butterfly and Terrorblade. I feel like this is not gonna be the uh, yeah. Just pick stuns maybe in game two. Um, I feel like your control has been very drafting no control. You've cloud nined it. There's no shame in that, but you've cloud nined it. Yeah, well. It's a free TB game, because they've got no stuns. It's a free Razor game. Just because of the hate, the heroes they picked. And the lane that should have gone well, the Jug into Tide, just didn't. No. I uh, so. I have I actually have no idea how <laughs> that happened. Um, I saw the Oracle... Trying. I saw the Oracle got caught out of position a few times, but um, I have no idea how that lane went so badly for the Jug. Just I feel didn't... like some poor alt could uh, plays could have gone on between the Pudge and a top lane. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Break it went there we go. Ravages. Really yeah. showing, really showing the power of having this big AOE stun to win to essentially win the fight for you. But there's um there's just no hope to re-engage from from George Foreman. Well, okay, they are the playing the game, <laughs> and Pudge only has... Yeah! You get a stack! Yes! Yes! Yes, Kavaya. I mean, you're all dead, but it's fine, you got the stack. Yes, kill the Venge, kill the Venge! No! No! <laughs> Why are they giving Razor the page? He could have paged. Oh, hooks him back yeah. into the fountain. That, that, that can't does, are you? Oh, there we go. I feel like we might be seeing the GG coming out soon. As three diebacks on George Foreman and Grill. Oh, Blade Mail used by Braxy. Scotty's just died to illusions. He just oh, died to Terrorblade illusions. And there's GG called. <laughs> Run, Braxy! Run! Oh, no. Ooh, okay. oh, he escapes. Braxy lives to fight another day. Anyway, that was game. that was game one. A dominant performance from Team Spherical. Yeah, 36k at 25 minutes is like... Uh, it might be the record of this tournament as of now. Well, we'll have to see how... Um, we'll have to see how George Foreman and Grill bounce back in game two. Um, here, are some, here, are some, uh, here is some information. Here's the, here's the kills. Here's the scoreboard. Pause if you want to look at it. Uh, here are some graphs. Enjoy the information. You'll see at the end of the game, Terrorblade <laughs> way ahead. Even Dawnbreaker overtaking Jug on net worth at the end. Um, uh, we're just going to go quickly go into what Ron thinks about that game. Some people may say that game was Pog, and I thought it was Dog. Oh no, and Ron thought the game was Dog. Oh. Very, oh, yeah. very it's harsh words longer. from Ron today. Um, so as we, as we wait for game two, the game two lobby to come up. I, I think we are really answered this. What did George Foreman and Grill do wrong? They used um, a random hero generator to do their draft. Yeah. It was. Exactly, yes. I respect the Pudge. Started off strong. Pudge can can beat the shit out of TB, but. Just, It's, it was just too good a Razor game, too good a too good a TB game in the end. Just just have some stuns, champs. Also, have some stuns. Don't pick this the they, they had some advantage in the safe lane, but they didn't capitalize it. They lost it against the Tide Hunter. They went without stick for ten minutes against the Tide Hunter and Vans, like three mana and health. They, I don't know. Mm. I think we blame Braxy for stealing first blood in between. 
Yeah, we... in front of his mid. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, to be fair, to be fair, we were we were hyped on Braxy after that Clapper Kimbell uh, first yeah. blood hook. He hit a lot more hooks than he missed. I mean, if you have to be honest, Braxy was one of the better performers on uh, formal, I think. Mm, I didn't have to save there, but you know, I think between them is like the yeah, the, a good accuracy on hooks. There's got to be a purpose for this Viper pick as well. Yeah, but... Yeah. It didn't pan out, the Viper pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I think you can e you can either have the Viper or the Pudge. I think that the Pudge... I, I would I would actually like to see them return to the Pudge in game two, but maybe with a, maybe with a stronger laner, like something with a slow or a, something with like a reliable slow or a stun, or maybe they pick the Razor for themselves, honestly, for the off lane. Hmm. But then uh, we have a team fight big ulti mm. if you go with Razor. I don't uh, have any game. mixed damage for like the first 20 minutes of the game. No, they just have. They it's have a load of magic, magic damage. They must hook. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's basically it. Um, right, as Eri. As Eri is putting the lobby up for game two, we're just going to go into a quick break as we wait for our invite to the lobby. Uh, bear with us, we'll be back as soon as possible. Am I wasting time? Because I'm already gone so long. Can you stay the night? Cause you're the thing I want, I want I know you're feeling different when you're stressed out But even with no makeup you still stand out Cause no one makes me feel the way you do now Like you do now The way that you move your body You make it look like a hobby Every time that you touch me It's electricity
wasting time Cause I'm already gone So long Can you stay the night? Cause you're the thing I want I want I know you're feeling different when you're stressed out But even with no makeup you still stand out Cause no one makes me feel the way you do now you do now The way that you move your body You make it look like a hobby Every time that you touch me It's electricity Things we discovered Underneath last night's covers Everything came so easy It's electricity on my mind it's finally sinking in you're in i know you're feeling different when you're stressed out but even with no makeup you still stand out cause no one makes me feel the way you do now Welcome to game two of Team Spherical versus George Foreman and Grill. Um, Team Spherical, teams, uh, George Foreman and Grill, Radiant and Last Pick this time in traditional best of two fashion, completely flipped. Um, welcome back, Why they're the Kunka? Why they're banning the Kunka? They're so bent on it. It's not good here. Oh. I think that Ob play, just plays a lot, yeah. Yeah, I just, think he's got, he's got like oh, 200 okay. games in pocket, so he just plays a lot. Fair then. I don't know the, the stuff on, the, on this player. There George Foreman and Grill banning the Tidehunter. Now, I don't believe that it was the hero that was the problem in these team fights. I think well, it I was think the you the heroes didn't have. you had were more of a problem than the enemy heroes, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. Tidehunter was definitely a problem. Maybe um, maybe Obnot is just mentally scarred by the Tidehunter and doesn't want to play against it. But there's so many similar heroes that you could uh, match they, into. They, they can pick an, an Underlord or... Uh, I don't know. Underlord, Earthshaker. Uh, offlane Earthshaker yeah. is, is, is a thing again. Uh, Earthshaker is just bullshit. Fuck that hero. Yeah, come on. Learn it, Fed. Hey. I want to see Fed mid-Earthshaker. Are you I are you playing play tomorrow? By the way, I think so. I don't know actually. Look, um, Schmops, Schmops just told us there was a match tomorrow, and we picked it up and put it on the fucking on the Caster Alliance uh, broadcast schedule. <laughs> but nothing's well, been confirmed to Eri. Like neither well, team has confirmed this match. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's like old. in your fucking Jeff room. <laughs> like, well, the first series we had i i didn't know we were playing so i got invited to a party and went oh i can't be asked right now i'll join you like <laughs> like games start later and they were like they start now so oh, rip what's it like okay big pick here first pick for team spherical the gyrocopter is still in the pool gyro venge tree I mean... just, just pick one of those three or profit 
I think a team like Team Spherical are not afraid to first pick a core. Mars, okay. Right, there's another, a gyro, but, but um, counter. Another big one to be behind. It feels a bit like a bait. It feels like a, a bit like a um, go on pick gyrocopter kind of kind of pick. This first pick Mars. Like yeah. we dare you. <laughs> it is a cool hero. You just buy blade mail, fucking toggle bulwark, and gyro kills himself. He looks cool as well. Oh. Like he's got a mane like a horse. Like <laughs> look at his hair. Uh, like, wait, cool. do you reflect before the bulwark reduction or after? No, uh, before the reduction. So blade mail will reflect the oh, 100 percent of the um. Now that is oh, a scotty hero. And and you get the other one. Really? And you get reduced. Yeah, you take reduced damage. Gyro takes full damage. That's how blade mail's calculated. Now that is an interesting pick. I'm not sure if this was a deny. It it doesn't make sense as a deny pick, which makes me think that it is going to be Scotty who has drafted it for himself because he is a bit of a Phoenix player, as I recall. Played it in uh. played it in game two against um, Team Stray. Unfortunately, they had a they had a very unfortunate DC in that game, oh, yeah. and the player was unable to rejoin the lobby. Well, speaking of DCs, uh, my dad has crashed. I see. <laughs> uh, Very timely. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the stream. I'll watch the stream. Okay. It's all good. It's there all is good. A, there's no delay on stream, so hopefully it should only be a couple of seconds behind. Um, cool. As we move into phase two for the bands, a Veno ban from Team Spherical. There are. Um... Maybe they saw the like the slows, so mm. just get rid of the most. Obnoxious one. And what? why ban the draw when you have a mark? Does um does Veno still reduce uh, HP regen in any way? It's the talent, right? I think it's the talent. Uh, hmm. Probably it's they've level ten it. talent. Let, let me check on second. Because they've banned so far. Team Spherical have banned three heroes back to back that reduce. Uh, reduce uh, HP regen. They banned out the Necro. They banned out yeah, the Drow. It's, it's, uh, they banned out the Veno. Was this thing uh, reducing ten percent? Is not much, but it's always some. Dazzle. Okay. I kind of like the Dazzle pick. Um, I feel like it might get punished if Team Spherical were to pick something like this Silencer or something that can. That's. That's a reliable hero. This is a classic lane. Unfortunately, we can't see the Snapfire at all, hidden, of course, <laughs> directly behind the Mars Shield. But uh, believe me, she is there. Snapfire is not the... Uh... Oh, the big reveal! There she is. <laughs> but Snapfire but, is but not the big the big lizard. <laughs> important question. Will it be the snail fire? Or just a common plebeian uh, normal Snapfire? I think it might be the plebeian pos for Snapfire. I think this is a very strong off lane Mars Snap, especially if your especially if your lane du your lane players are like are experienced in it. Ruby. Now that is a good. This is already a good Rubik game. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few locomotive spells as well on um, Dyer, so. It's um again from Team Spherical, from Team Spherical, a lot of hard lockdown. And they have it stuns uh, and bottom. instant stuns. Wow! Unbelievable, Jeff. And, and the hudge. Yes, it George Foreman and girl. Okay. Don't try and fix the only thing that wasn't broken. <laughs> uh, still lack of control. But yeah. At least we have a. Uh, a big team fight ulti on the Phoenix this time. You have oh, absolutely nothing to defend, Egg. No, and you, yeah. um... <laughs> That's a shard of Ruffle. Baby steps, baby steps. You know, they've, they've addressed they've addressed part of their problem in game one. I would like to see them pick another team fight ult to uh, use in, tan in tandem with this Egg, though. Unfortunately, yeah, they banned out Tidehunter. <laughs> I quite like, um... Core Shaker. I, I don't think it's too bad versus Rubik because you kind of want to play the game different as Core Shaker and Rubik. Yeah, you dies. go one for four and Rubik, Rubik sort of dies. I mean, a lot. One time I uh, killed myself well. because I stole the 
totem on core shaker and I had rags and I jump in by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sniper. I mean, no, it's uh, quite a good egg defender, not on that it allows egg to go off, but it pumps out shitloads of damage while everyone's distracted by eggs. So. I um I really like this sniper pick from George Foreman and Grill right now. Um obviously it's a it's a massive pain to fight into arena because obviously as sniping you cannot click into the arena all your shots bounce off the outside but um i like it because i like it a lot more because they're on this last pick it lets them it at least lets them flex sniper between two and one i think that position one sniper is not very good but it it does at least let you move. It does at least give you a place to move this hero to if the mid matchup is if the mid matchup is bad. If it's very bad, <laughs> I feel like your your morphling was the better pick than sniper. Uh, Similar sort of thing, but just better. What about a spirit here, like storm, to go on the sniper? What about spirit? What about spirit breaker? Oh. Is it a monkey one or two? Can be flexed here. <laughs> I um I like to think it'll be monkey pos one. I think that um Team Spherical need to use their last ban their last couple of bans just to protect some good matchups for whoever they're thinking about being on ninth. If it's a punch off lane, I assume it is. Or... Um I believe this will be because I know that Scotty plays Phoenix a lot, I think this might be a pos position three Phoenix. Yeah, well, as long as Pudge Phoenix can own Monkey because of the spirits and such tactics, and obviously you can like four creeps when he tries to jinko, boundless strike you. Mm. So like, it, it's it's hard for him to get his jinko stacks up on Pudge and stuff, and Pudge has flesh sheep and stuff with the, uh, so it, it can be quite a quite a sick lane for Radiant. Who they ban? Man. Oh, they banned Puck, okay. Again, another good ban. This would have been a very good Puck game. You kind of lack yeah. a bit of damage, the, the I think. The problem is that the ban is the Peaks, usually, so... They're I... Could Spherical... Could Spherical just pick the Razor and run it back? I don't see why not. The only danger is that George Foreman and Grill, if you know, they've been in, they've been in the think tank, they've um, they've thought about how do we deal with this Razor hero, and they've got some sort of you know, big Razor counter that we haven't even thought about. Banning out Queen what? of Pain, that would have been a very good pick. As um, as you do lack a little bit of damage outside of um, outside of you know the big the big Mars slap. And the big monkey slap. Five seconds remaining, dire... As we move into the final stage. It's interesting to me to think about how much time teams have left on their reserve time, you know? Just thinking about it. Would you ever... Would, would, would either of you ever, you know, let your reserve time run down and just random your last pick? Because you truly do not care. I think we, we could do that against uh, hooligans. Hooligans <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. This is a really good Lashrak game for uh, George Foreman. Team I like oh. Lashrak here. It is a bit of gap close. I'm a bit, I'm a bit skeptical. OD. I'm a bit yeah. skeptical because the amount of magic damage that George Foreman could already have. And they have shown that they do not care about. They, they do not care for the physical. <laughs> if you were fucking. I mean, if this was but... pure playing, he'd be asking for pos one OD. This is a mid Mars. Wind Ranger. That's a, that's a good pick. That's a yeah, buzz, I buzz, buzz. Not you any real entry. Position one sniper. Position two. Oh. Yeah, but it, it does look like it is Scotty Dotes playing that Phoenix. You just have to make sure you're starting the fights on Radiant. Oh, on yeah, Radiant. Oh, and here comes Braxy dropping in from the ceiling. Uh... Now this these drafts look a lot closer than game one, like a lot yeah. closer. I still prefer that, yeah. what Team Spherical's going for. I feel like their draft is 
a lot easier to execute. I feel like they've got abilities that are a lot easier to hit and utilize. George oh, Foley and Grill are going to be relying a lot of positioning, I think, this game. Yeah. Well, if it's, it's quite easy if George Foreman and Grill are... Well, I wouldn't say easy, but it's better when they start fights. They start fights. Because Team Circle have so much like poke and low commit spells that they can just spam out. So as long as Radiant are running at Dire, it's pretty good. Because Wind Ranger should be able to like kill all these heroes bar, bar Mars. Hmm. How do you feel, matey, about the uh, about the uh, the Wind Ranger versus Timbersaw matchup? This was a this was plaguing uh, professional uh, professional Dota games uh, for a okay. long time. Last patch. <laughs> I'm not a mid player, but I think he he can at least draw. I mean. It's just the universal. It's the universal yeah, hero question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot more on the support. Not, not, not how considering they, the player. Game. Maybe he's a bit uh, Windrender favorite. Maybe, but I don't know. You ask difficult question on. Uh... Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm so happy that these Gaben voice lines are going to be in the game for another ten days. Fantastic. Uh, the Gaben <laughs> are uh, permanent. Only the. Are oh, they permanent now? Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake! They are shit voice lines. I hate them. They're just unused <laughs> voice lines from the fucking announcer pack. That's what they are, right? <laughs> oh, this is a very shameful display from uh, Spherical. No party has on them. Not a no, one. No party hats at all. Does my boy have his party hat on? He does. Yes, Braxy. <laughs> and they're going for the invade. A spherical not catching, not not catching a solo hero like how George Foreman and Girl did in game one. But they are immediately repositioning. They might try and go for maybe a cheeky kill. No, there's no way, right? Uh, no. Wait, wait, they're splitting, they're splitting. Maybe they can kill the monkey. If they can recognize that the oh, monkey's being the monkey. a bit greedy here. No, he knows. There's no oh. chance they can chase him, he's so quick. Or How fast he is. Quick. Look at this little yeah. hamster go. Now the f fucking... Ricker thing will uh, give you... Right, what, what you do there is the... Oh. Uh, Where's the sniper doing? The beast chief. He goes top and then doesn't go for the portal to get to lane. He's walking. He's waddling. He's walking all the way from top. He's got a headshot. <laughs> <to bottom. laughs> he's coming down. He's coming down south to headshot some noobs. <laughs> I have to admit that I forget about the portal most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, mean, like, I feel like you just get a point, a point and bulwark now, and you just like take no damage oh, yeah. ever. Yeah. And you grief CS so bad. The sniper. Oh, he's going for the soul ring on Mars. No. The abuse. Of course, uh, of can... course, all teams now aware of soul ring, and the fact that it does not reclaim the mana at the end of the debuff. So every team now on a level playing field. Now that PSA is Only if it's unused, made. right? Yeah, only, only if, if it's unused. Oh, okay. And you can't go above well, maximum mana. It will reclaim yeah. the above maximum, but. I think people who abuse that bug should be kicked out of the tournament and their team disqualified. Uh, true. Actually true. It's just uh, it's just not on. It's just not it's not, 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 not quite quick, is it? Nice. That was a shameful CSing okay. And as, uh, it looks like they've actually switched over Braxy into playing the into playing more of a core pudge this game. As uh Actually, it looks kind of like they're playing. They're both playing three and a half. They're both taking CS. Yeah, they're taking whatever they can and uh, <laughs> not thinking about. Is this about how it. they do it? Is this how they've been doing it beforehand? Um, well, in, unfortunately, in the game that we watched Scotty get his Phoenix before, it was the game with the unfortunate disconnect. Disconnect, and George oh. Foreman and Grill continued four v five, and they did lose that game eventually. But they they made they made a go of it, you know. Yeah, it But uh, again, another slow start to the laning stage here. Timbersaw pulling a tiny bit ahead on CS. 
Oh, but Kamaya has to leave. They're going to lose the range. They're going to lose the, the flag. No, the flag. But the, what's the... Oh, bottom. Bottom on the... Okay, now she's away. Uh, Pudge. Uh, sorry, Rubik throws Pudge under the tier one top but manages to just waddle away. Uh, <laughs> I would like to see Obnob um, man up a little bit more in this lane, but of course it is difficult with only one point in take aim. I, f I feel like this Pudge should probably be buying some sentry wards. Oh, oh, Moist Goblin goes straight in. Obnob kind of AFK a little bit. Uh, oh. oh, but they get the Poison Touch on him. Only level one, oh, wand yeah. used on he's Moist got Goblin. Flat second tower region. He's fucking chilling. Oh, he's fucking, he's fucking chilling, mate. This monkey, when he hits nice. level five, can go bark through the portal and cause mayhem. Cause bloody mayhem with some primal would you, uh Would you describe this Timbersaw's, this Timbersaw's CS as nice? Fed? Nice. Nice. I don't know how he's got five denies. Oh, he's a universal hero, mate. Yeah, but I feel like you just trade CS, not. I feel like you both have like twenty last hits. He's uh, he's, he's queuing up the blade mail oh, immediately. Oh. Trooper. He's learned. He's learned from the punch in the in the uh, in the first game from Braxy. Up, up, bang. Oh, first. Oh, Braxy, speaking of, just dies. This is probably one of the probably one of the worst matchups for Pudge to be behind in levels. Uh, with Monkey King obviously hitting level 3 first. Level 1 Jingu Mastery is something that you can fight through. Level 2, no chance. It, uh, well, you've got to be aware on your Phoenix Spirit score dance in lane. Because uh, that's sort of like... Oh, look at that big hat on that Phoenix. Monster. You can't see where he's going. <laughs> the hat's huge. Oh. oh, they almost get Mars? Oh, they did. Sparta Matt escaping with his life. I just realised, by the way, that uh, Moist Goblin's sponsor information is that just says soaked. And I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, pop is dead. Oh no. Another did they one. use the lift? Oh, they did. Okay. Was that to cancel dive? Oh, we, oh, we didn't have dive up. I see. A little, maybe a little bit of greed coming out from Scotty there. I mean, uh, this time at least the sniper is not going too badly in the lane. Hmm. It's definitely a, it's a big improvement over game one. And we're actually seeing, like, both offlaners... Uh, both yeah. offlaners of both teams are actually not getting very much out of these lanes. They have to start rotating heroes mid, I think, on um, Radiant, because uh, Timber 6 with uh, Catapult. We will keep an it's eye on him. just going to shred. This is a chunk of HP to the Wind Ranger, but obviously has his bottle, has his water rune, a big stick. I feel like he can, you're right, he can just start running at this Wind Ranger, and I don't know what Wind Ranger can do with no points of shackle shot. Maxing out the power shot, I guess, to try and get this, yeah, to try and get the range, CS. Yes. Just know what you kill. Boom on the top lane, Ruby getting very low Ooh. at the top. Oh, yes, Praxy. They try and kill Sleeping Moon, really wants to get this kill, but has tree nuts up. Will he try and go for it? He can't. No, he can't get it. it. You're, just tread somewhere. you're fucked it. Absolutely fat. Absolutely <laughs> fat. Oh, Timbersaw, by the way, look at the size of that hat on the <laughs> on on the Timbersaw the person, not the whole mech. Like that hat is bigger than he is. <laughs> oh, I need to see Alchemist with a hat on. Who does it go on? In both, I think. Um, Fed, if a uh, if backhand if Sean backhand Connery was in this game, how hard would he have won mid? Uh, if they were, which hero would they be playing? They'd be playing Timbersaw. Oh, I probably wouldn't have won it at all, mate. I, I, I don't. I feel like from my source that Sean backhand Connery isn't a timber player. Okay, okay. Sean Connery likes using his 
like using his but weapons you... of choice are his fists, not blades. But can you do it? Can can you say oh, that again? Oh, 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 Mars is dead. Nice. Oh, Sparta man goes oh. down. We caught that one, chat. We caught that one. Uh, yeah, but can you say that again, Fed? But in with the Sean Connery accent, <laughs> Sean Connery impression. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I can't do it. I use my fish. <laughs> You're gonna have to slap him. <laughs> no, You're just trying to get the last word. <laughs> trying to get the last word. We're going to have to slap him. Sometimes you gotta beat some sense. <laughs> <laughs> the turn to Richard Nixon there for a minute. Oh boy, oh boy. It was not so wonderful war. Okay, the clip. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on, like Sparbat a... throws a blood grenade, but they do not want to dive Obnob. <laughs> Obnob, Ob not. Well, you can't cook your, your monkey's level you. six. He can just go through the pool and get a double kill. It's... Yeah. He's, uh, he, he's farming very well, though. He is well on his way to his defusal blade, choosing to go yeah. for that. Uh, Braxy uh, did not get the hook off in time. Scotty has got fire spirits well, up. He's uh, not using them. And now he's dead for it. And Braxy... Braxy didn't get the, you know, the Lotus! He didn't pick it up before he died! Well, you didn't see the bloody concophony that happened bot lane. It was diabolical. Can you tell me, <laughs> tell me more about what happened? <laughs> Moist Goblin was like... He was... So the uh, the wave was up to, like, the Lotus Pool area. He was hiding in the trees below the, the Radiant Watcher. And the sniper just... Walked around, started clicking him. He cookied, he cookied himself into the wave. <laughs> it was oh, just no. unbelievable juking. <laughs> and um, just, it's dog shittery. Uh, Obst just has finished his blade mail. I don't know if Wind Ranger can do anything now to stop him. No. As they rotate in, they rotate in his aunt of the uh, a bottle refill. Did of, he do it? Ooh, woo, he did. Had a smoke. Okay. Oh, heading towards the bottom lane on Obst. They want to try and get this sniper. Oh, Rubik got, got through the portal. But... The uh, oh, sniper is are. relatively farmed. He, he does have a... Oh, we want on the top lane. They actually get a hook on. They might actually get Monkey here. Uh, oh, gets it off. No, but he's, he's going to kill both of them. Oh, but Kamai gets a kill. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, dive happening. Blade Mel used. <laughs> sniper cannot fight back at all. They're going to go for more. They're going to go for Dazzle. No, Obst is going to... He's getting out. They get their one kill for three overall. It's such a shame that Monkey goes down, though. This Mars and Phoenix are having equally shocking games, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not looking good. Mars is actually... Um, funnily enough, Mars is actually behind the Dazzle on Net Worth right now. <laughs> but Phoenix is not doing much better. Being behind the Rubik... <laughs> well, we'll find OP spell versus these heroes. Just uh, so. Just do you think you should go Maelstrom on the sniper against the? You need a the monkey. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it depends if the Wind Ranger's getting or not. I think Wind Ranger will. If Wind Ranger is getting yeah, the Maelstrom, Ranger. it looks like. Um, oh yeah. I would like I to see. Need... I would like to see Treads first. Is this Treads flying out? Yes, it is. Thank God. Yeah. It's kind of Windranger's job to kill the um, Timber, because oh. even though Snipe can do it with Maelstrom, it's um, a lot Fed, of there's a monkey on the car in the bottom lane. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got oh, a defusal, yeah. he's... He's defusaled him. Oh, he's cancelled the... Oh, here comes the arena. Oh. Obnob can't... Obnob can't fire into that. Obnob going down to oh. Clavicle. Shrant will get them low. They really want to go for Wind Ranger as well, but the Focus Fire will get Sleepy Moon to fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off, Grasshopper. Monkey on the car. Fuck Meanwhile, off. Meanwhile, look, these two troopers top. They're oh, just immediately, farming. Sharon farm. Immediately TP back top. He, he sees two of them. I think he could probably fight them. They do have, you do have Max Primal Spring with the Bounder Strike up. Oh, but there is eat on Pudge available and an egg. Maybe it's not worth. This could be the correct play, but they are rotating in more heroes. Timber's always got his Kaya done. 
Oh, there is a big collapse on this top lane happening. Oh, yeah. Sleepy Moon. Yeah, can't. it should be a free tower, to be fair. Although they do have the host to defend it. Braxy really wants to try and get a cheeky hook here. I don't... Yeah, but if no, you do I that, think... you're dead. You kind of want a lane ward before. I don't think anything's happening here. Yeah, nothing's happening here. Obst returns to the bottom lane. It feels like... Um, uh, Team Spherical, they're playing they're playing the map really well. You know, your Mars is not at the best the best time. Yeah. You can kind of just give him this bottom lane, go and pressure the other side of the map, rotate every yeah. hero that you can. I think they want to slow it down a lot because Mars is so far behind. Oh, there was a jump in. There's a focus fire coming out. Primal, Should be a Primal dead Slap monkey. misses. Oh. No. Boundless. You don't have it. No, oh. you, he missed it already. Here comes Obs oh. though. Moist Goblin getting the kill on that one. That Scotty, Scotty! Oh. I don't think they have any reason to stop here. They can force out the egg. Oh. He ate, he cuts down the tree! Oh. Yes, Scotty don't. don't. That, that, I don't think that was intentional. I don't think it was intentional either, but it was cool. <laughs> as Obnob takes down uh, Sparta Bat in the bottom lane. Oh no. Oh boy. Braxy, oh. no. Oh no, oh, Scotty come back oh, in, they're trying to bait here. Oh, but there's a huge Primal Spring Durbrong graving himself. Oh, good one usage. They really want this kill on MK. MK gets shackled to the tree that he's standing on. Oh, oh and here comes okay. the Update to what there was a fight. I lost all of it. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, he didn't miss much. No one died, unbelievably. Monkey King actually escapes with his life. Well on his way to the Echo Saint, the Echo Saber. I think when I go, if I go to Fuse or Monkey, I go. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes, Braxy! Yeah, oh. the There's a reason that you're a star player. <laughs> Oh, also the Rubik should be dead. Oh, hopefully. stolen the eat. Oh. The stolen eat. He's eating the pudge, and then eat that cookie. Oh, here comes, here comes oh. Obst. Oh, Obst oh, coming to clean up. Oh, but they see the sniper. If time they to get time away, to back. Still a good trade if they get away, but oh, the power shots. So many missed power shots. It's really unfortunate. Look, you're just missing these heroes. I am. Um, I didn't. Oh, it's for me. Yeah. I didn't quite believe in this blade mail, but the blade mail is it is it's paying it's paying dividends, at, at least a little bit in these fights. It means you can't be you can't be focus fired at all. It makes it very awkward for sniper to try and click you down. Then it's just the other heroes you got to worry about. <laughs> very cheap damage. Let's see. Uh... Usually I don't like going uh, first uh, item uh, Ether Lens on Rubik. I prefer going utility with the uh, four stuff or Glimmer and then go a bit greedy with the mm. with the Ether Lens because early game people need mana, and you're uh, waste you're sacrificing your mana boot for uh, for the Ether Lens that is very Whoa. selfish. Okay, um, Scotty. <laughs> I don't quite know what is going on here. Stolen Sunray. Sunray is insane. He's vomiting on this Phoenix. <laughs> he doesn't know how Sunray works. He was trying to work it out for a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tower goes down. But you know, and I think the I think Spherical are all right to take this fight as they've got they've got their big man coming down. But he gets hooked. He's under a ward. Doesn't manage oh, to get his blade oh, mail off. Oh, yeah. oh, there's no, an arena. Oh, Captures one. They're gonna get Pudge here. Will a grave come out? No, it will Why not. It still has oh. A lot of kills happening. They, they yeah, a, a attempt yes. to cliff. Oh, but the monkey ult comes out. Obnob completely out of mana here. And here comes the snapfire ult from the retreat. Yeah, oh, and he wants more. The egg. There's no egg. Yeah, Fire spirit. Oh. Egg. That is dead. Oh, and there we go, Moist Goblin taking the triple kill with those globs. The globs. But that was not so bad. I mean It was very sketchy towards the site towards the start of the fight, but Moist Goblin getting getting a lot of XP and net worth out of that fight. 
Yeah, I was talking about the um, four-man perspective, but yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you get the you get the big kill. You managed to yeah, kill exactly. the Timbersaw, who's meant to be who's meant to be power spiking like out of his world right now. But it it could have gone a lot better. <laughs> For example, I feel like you're about to lose another tier one <laughs> unless you bring big numbers top. Well, that's just letting the creeps do the work. No one, no one's defending it. Fuck him. What? Uh, sniper going shadow blade. Okay, right. Chat just said something that really made me laugh, which was that um, all three of Dyer's supports are above all three of Radiant's supports. <laughs> on the network chart. And it does feel a little bit like that. You've just got, without the, uh, well, maybe Mars, maybe, uh, maybe Sparta Matt can start doing things now that he's getting his blink delivered. Maybe he can start accelerating a little bit, but um, it does feel like all he's been able to do in these fights is get the arena off. And that's okay, because the arena's a game good. Where there are three supports on both teams, they don't do this three core bollocks. They do two cores and three supports. Oh no, I feel like I? Braxy, Braxy's being punished again what? with his first item blade oh, veil. Okay. No, oh, no, another missed dick slap. A DD dick slap as well. A DD that was the whole dick slap. They get, they did Duran Bong's courier though, at least. Big up. We're not seeing. Uh, I just. I... Mm. If you're Dazor at 50 minutes, you have to have the shard, right? Yeah. I would also like him. I would also like to see him use his tier one token. Um, <laughs> I feel like someone, uh, Scotty as well, just with a tier one token. Um, guys. Uh, guys. Oh, Snapper get the glove ball because why not? Like... He's going straight for the silver edge on the sniper. I feel like that is needed. Fire Spirits on Rubik. Braxy unable to get in position. Unfortunately, if you do go for this Blade Mail first on Pudge, you do sacrifice your blink timing horribly. Like, if you are going to play possible Pudge, you need to get a fast blink. Or at least get your blink first, because the only way that you contribute oh, that, to these fights... Oh, they catch, hob, they catch Hobnob. Yeah. Out come the kisses. I haven't seen an egg yet. No. Whenever oh, great shackle, but I don't think it matters. There's the egg, actually, but they know to click it. No damage. Oh, no. And Kamaya, oh, all of Spherical so low. I feel and like on Sniper, when you've got Mask of Burners, you go Crystalis first, especially when you need damage. He stole bad Juju! Oh, no, that's a disaster! Well, someone's going to be farming very quickly with Fade Bolt. <laughs> let's let's watch him. Oh, let's see if, juju regen rune. Let's, see if, on. let's see if he uses it. He uses bad juju. It, ref it he's just using it. Uh, he's just using it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy a Midas right now. You're paying it off for how long till that's got left? I don't know. He's just using it off cooldown. Like he's got so many stacks of bad juju. He's trying to kill himself. <laughs> Buy Midas. Sell your items, get Midas. I fucking hate these Tranks items. <laughs> you hate Tranks? <laughs> yeah, fucking get rid of them. What's wrong with Tranks? Because they're just a bait, you know? So you've disassembled <laughs> your fucking mana boots for Evil Ends, and then you're like, oh, I've got, got brown boots. Oh, what's the next cheapest boots? Tranks. No, just fucking keep them brown boots and buy mana boots later. They just fucking grief your team. It just makes sense. Yeah. your team. <laughs> Mars Timber need mana. Yes, they do. They're building right. another blade mail on Mars. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why are there so many blade mails in this series? I'd just buy a meme hammer and, you know, just hit the towers. What are they going to do? Sleepy Moon going in for the creep wave. It looks like another free tower for Team Spherical. Um, okay. He's lost his bad juju stacks. Oh, that's a disaster. No. He tires of, he he tire he tires of this of this spell. He wishes to get another oh, spell. Maybe he, only he bought tracks because he had bad juju. Timbersaw's got a bottled shield rune, my dudes. I feel like, 
I feel like the next yeah, fight. You, you, you're gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, no, he's never gonna die. Looking to pick up the Blink Dagger next after his Sanj and Kaya and bots. So Obst is now once again, like just like game one, going to be at every fight. <laughs> I mean, they did ten kills this time in front of what four in their game one. Not five. I don't remember. <laughs> So. If there was ever a Tinker pick, though, it would be <laughs> God the Spin Ranger. <laughs> so are you gonna, are you gonna keep sucking yourself off all cards? <laughs> By Jove. By Jove. <laughs> By Jove. Michael Rosen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Especially Star Ray on the Monkey. I feel like they are, they are, they are really. Team Spherical are actually really well, are really containing. They're really containing uh, George Foreman and Gwil into their own little area. As it looks like they are going to pick off the Dazzle again. He has this self grave. Oh, they miss. Oh, and the. It looks like Sparman might actually be into trouble here. No, Blade Mails turns around again. A third Blade Mail bought in this game. I think this might. Be, I think this might be more Blade Mails bought than in the entirety of Goon Ti so far, in this okay. one game. Gonna need Statman Karen on the the item build. <laughs> How many blade bells this tournament? How many blade bells this tournament, and how many were in George Foreman and Grill versus Team Team Spherical Game Two? Etherlands on pad, at least that was that was the intention. Clava <laughs> uh, Kimball, uh, Clava Kimball, testing out to see if Four Staff cancels channeling an outpost. It does not. <laughs> you cannot force your allies to stop channeling with a Four Staff. Harpoon finished up on um, Harpoon finished up on Sleepy Moon with completed BKB yeah, and the yeah. specialist. Oh, 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 I get that arcane bot. Oh. I don't know how. I don't know what is what is the best way for George Foreman and Grill to attempt to start a fight. Uh, high ground defense, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They don't really have an option. They have a. They're work, still working towards the. Um, oh no, he's changed off the. Uh, he's changed off the Silver Edge, which. Yeah, going Pike. Um, I kind of wish you had a damage item, <laughs> over going for. I understand why he's going Pike, but I really do wish you had a damage item because right now you're doing 146 damage plus headshot. Yeah. That's why <laughs> I think instead of the um, Shadow Blades, you go the Crystalis component with Mask of Madness, right? Because then you're just. Ah, I see what you, you mean. Even die, like, you know. And then you've always got die, the option to like change. Damage. You've got the option to change yeah. into like Daedalus later on as well. Yeah. Whereas now you're just kind of stuck, and you're like, well, I can only go Silver Edge. Yeah. Well, like, it also means like in fights though, you pass keep Mask of Madness, and you're not doing a ton of damage, and you die because they have a fifty gold item called Dust. How much is it? It's eighty gold. My bad. Oh, Fed, matey. They're doing Roshan, but unbelievably, they're bringing their armor reduction to the pit immediately. Unlike in game one, he's desperately trying to use his little shredder, but he's outside of the pit, and little shredder buff runs out. Oh, no. Uh, he doesn't count them. No. Nope. Sniper, you, you've scanned them in the pit. Hit this mid tower. Hit the tower. Spherical's crab walking. He's got his bulwark active. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, that should have been a dead mid tower. Sniper should have just fucking hit. Ob's just instantly back to mid. DD in the river bottom, but it looks like George Foreman and Grill are not going to get anywhere near it. Braxy, I think if you hit that hook, you both die, so maybe don't go for that hook, mate. <laughs> I mean, who can he hook? Maybe the Rubik? I think it's only the Rubik. And then you also yeah. need to not give away hook either. <laughs> Oh, missed dick slap. Ability's been used. Blade they hooked the Mars. Okay. Okay. That's a good hook. Mars was still very low after the Roshan attempt. After the Roshan. Spherical after... probably going to yeah. reset until their arena is back up. This uh, nullifier from Monkey's going to be a pain when he gets it. Oh, he's got a nullifier. Oh, fucking hell. He's okay. going to. I mean, he's got that pool. Yeah. 
Harpoon nullify this. Nullify dispels a concussive grenade as well. It's like a shard. Yeah. It stops um Holy. it stop it like it constantly like purges and stops all forced yeah. movement, right? So Yeah. Uh it doesn't dispel on itself though. Oh, you mean okay? Oh yeah, no, yeah. Right, oh, huge it. dick slap! Oh no, Scotty ends up on the wrong side of the oh, fight. Oh, Ability's oh, being oh, used. Uh, why do walkings? Oh, oh Durham Bong! Oh my trees. God, he gets a he gets a Mars thrown at him. They're still attempting to fight on Team Spherical. BKB used on Sleepy Moon. Uh, There's the arena. One. Rubik focus fire, take that tower. Get him, Rubik. Yes, Rubik! Yes, Rubik. Why is it throwing arrows? I thought it would throw like Rubik right clicks. I think. <laughs> it, it still has sniper egg around, it's not a thing. So. Come on, you've still got the focus fire buff. Get the tower. <laughs> Camping for the yard. Here we go. He's going for the ags on Timbersaw. I kind of would like to see that a bit earlier, but I guess he did stop for this blade mail. So. You know, Blade Mail, name of the game. Oh boy. Oh! And. The Lampart is over. Crashed out. We're going to attempt to reconnect. We're going to have to wait and see how much is broken when we get back in. Okay. It looks oh. like the game is intact. We're on a new terrain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with a new weather effect. Uh, I, I was not. I'm still inside. Uh, no problem. Oh, uh, I fantasy think points aren't working. Oh, He's fantastic. On there. Fantasy uh, points, yeah. About that. Not working. Well, that was very strange. Apologies. Uh, Flax and everyone from... Ah, okay. So everyone from the other game going on at the moment. Remember to check out uh, Mancalf Mancalf versus Team Mmm -hmm, uh, if you want as well. Another game going on at the same time with uh, Dr. Jonas and LDC. Um, apparently everyone in their lobby also got mass disconnected. <laughs> so, uh, good thing we got the anniversary pack for another 10 uh, days. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I get to play with this fucking tormentor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as we just wait How for the, uh, the graphical update led to this, I don't understand. I do not understand at all. They released a bug fix patch and it actively made the game worse, I think. Yeah. It says Mancap versus Team Spherical on Jonas's stream title. Well, well, Team Spherical is in this game, so I don't know why he would say that. <laughs> it is definitely Team Mmm. How do you feel about the other teams in your group, uh, Fed, as we wait just for the uh, for these teams to mentally reset what they're doing? Um, yeah, they're all good. Um, a bit too good. Uh, let's have a look at the group, mate. Um, you don't even know who's in your group, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the five foot... The billionaires, yeah. They've, they've done well. I've, I've seen from the area recent results that they're doing all right aren't they i believe they are yeah they haven't lost one either they were, they were one one that. just like us uh, but... i don't know much about goon mm, i haven't seen a lot of, I, haven't, I haven't seen a lot out of that team um uh, i've not i've not had a lot of time to watch cast because for some reason everyone in both groups arranges all their games for the same fucking time so i don't get a lot of time to watch other people's casts oh, there's a hook uh, yeah yeah, but he's, but he's gonna pay for it with his life. Oh, but Clavencell is gonna die. We didn't get to see what he stole. Oh. There's an arena. Oh, a they're all, they're trapped. Oh, Massive boy. dick yeah. slap. And four of George Foreman and Grill going down. Kamaya with BKB up might be able to get away, but Obs is looking to cut off her escape. Oh, there's a buyback. Oh, Hooks into it's the fountain. Oh. Where will he respawn? Go eat and eat. Eat, eat him. Did you see that? Did you see him respawn like here and then blink to there? 
I'm used to smoke. That. Oh, oh, there's oh, a hook! Oh, oh, oh. Broxy with the... Uh, yeah, that yeah, that's good tipping. If I could tip that man, I would. There's a reason that he's our favorite player in, <laughs> in this game right now. He's a Chad. Braxy Chad. This... Oh my god. The offlane duo for Radiant. <laughs> 320. <laughs> 11. Dude, they're fucking winning the game for him, alright? <laughs> doing it. By Jove, they've done it. Oh, to be fair, to be fair to Braxy, like, does it... I don't think it makes up for, like, everything else that has happened this game. But that jump, that him hitting yeah. those hooks has completely stopped um, Spherical's push, like in its tracks. You got a bit of gold at it as well. Got a bit of gold. Got a bit of gold. Cheeky bit of gold. I feel like I've already said about three eggs this game. <laughs> and no, none of them. I think that's quite optimistic. I... You know, you got uh, you got to be nice to the team. Um, Spotamat, I, I think that fight might have been Spotamat was maybe a bit ambitious Ooh. on the arena, being that far forward with his team not ready. They had committed a lot already. He's going for the Daedalus. What I, I, they oh, just did they see Sniper? The yeah, they're on the hunt though. Yeah, Sniper is dead. Yeah, Calibrate, they... Calibrate. No, he's dead. He's got. Oh, the they're the dust. Him, anyway. If you spare him, you see him. Yeah, they have no creeps. Yeah, they can't getting... push this. Monkey's going for Daedalus over him. Um, oh, and they place a ward under the sentry. Dog noobs. Here comes Braxy. Come on, Braxy. Get that ward. No, don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Oh, no. He, try, he tried to... He tried... Oh, if I didn't know better, I thought he was trying to hook the ward. <laughs> They've got two wards there. Oh, look at that them? ward! Oh. Now that's a good one. That sees Braxy. Oh! Oh, I didn't know about that ward. <laughs> you need to egg! Scotty, you oh. need to egg! Late. Oh, bit too late. late. Oh, wait. Magister okay. once again get Monkey King. This okay. Monkey King uh, BKB usage was a bit questionable. And that, um... That, strangely enough, is a trade of two cores for two supports. But in Not a good way. <laughs> two K's wing for... Oh, the uh... hook! The hook on Sniper into the Timber TP! Into the... Oh, oh no, I feel like... Oh. Ob, ob not. I feel like you should not have committed for this. Um, you... Or maybe Sunray's going to be doing work. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh? Shut up, what oh. do I... Shut up, what do oh. I know? 100 <laughs> HP on the... Oh, the timber saw almost is isn't good enough. They're holding. They're holding. They are holding. I feel like it is really the Mars is. Uh, Spotomat is yeah. way too ambitious with these blink initiations. No, the, he might be monkey, getting a bit ahead of himself. The monkey what? jumped in and didn't press that. BKB straight away, so he he just got shackled him. Focus fired and uh, oh, I BKB'd see. on like 10% HP and was stunned for like half the fight. So, so what are we working towards now? We've got Timbersaw, who has uh, got almost is two and a half K gold in the bank. Monkey King almost get it, almost it is Daedalus. We've actually got Snapfire going for a scythe. Now this I actually love. I I really I like it when my supports get these like late game lockdown items. It's so important is these days. Is it, is it, going for Kiori? Is it Kiori on the, the Phoenix no. you played for? Oh, um, Kaori? Was, yeah, who did he? It was for uh, the quest. team Shad was on, wasn't it? Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, Quest. They, they, he, yeah. Like, he went for. Um, he, he goes went, Hex yeah. first, doesn't he? Yeah, he just go. He, he's, he's actually the pos five, but he rush. He just rushes hex every just, game he plays Phoenix in. Yeah, <laughs> it's like GH does it, but with like Shiva's God or a Refresher. Yeah, <laughs> just goes <straight laughs> Refresher. Like, Thanks. right, what the fuck am I meant to do? Twenty minutes. Bro, shut up. Did you see? Refresher. Did you see the new video from Dota Cinema by the way today, um, of right. uh, the, of what happened with Roche? 
the well. one with the um, juggernaut. Uh, like yeah, a, a juggernaut omni slashed Roche and got trapped inside Roche and just died oh, from bashes. <laughs> nice. Um, because Roshan BK... just tried to portal and couldn't. Yeah, BKB down on um. Windy. Windy. She tried to solo kill the mm. timber and did nothing. We caught that. She has got her eggs on Windranger, so you know. A little Momentum? bit of a little bit of extra tank Not ability. Wait, you in yourself. Wait. They are good at carrying dust on the old team of Dio, though. Right, who's getting this cheese? No one. Uh, okay, shard on the Windranger. What? Oh, shard. Oh, from Tormentor. Okay. Who else could that have gone to? Sniper. Oh no! Everyone has it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. apart from Pudge, he won the 50-50 with Pudge, yes! <laughs> the Tormentor reflect damage doesn't go through BKB, so... Ah, I see. Oh, yes, Brax has almost finished his blink! This is gonna the be lead a... has stayed the same for about 15 minutes. It's been 15k for 15 minutes. And here we go. It looks like Spherical have had enough. They want to... They, they're going to take this high ground. Oh, this beam's going to be doing damage. Oh, oh no. Oh, but the, oh, the gale right. force pushing him around. Spider-Man goes down to the tower. I mean, and they're going to back up. They're going to back up to losing two. There was just not... There was not a good opening for the Wukongs. Okay. Okay. That's another key. That's, that fight started with a hook, didn't it? That fight started with um with a with a with a blink timbersaw initiation is how that fight started. Uh, Monkey King was Monkey King was on the trees on the um down the left of the radiant base. Yeah. Unfortunately, could not connect to where the fight ended up, which is in the mid lane. <laughs> He's got a mind breaker now. On uh, probably is, there is no agony. He's going for a dispersal on Monkey. It's going to be hard to take the fight without the egg. But you do still have the sun ray up, and there is no oh, arena for another 27 seconds. I reckon Timber's going to be going for a hex next. That'll be super. Oh, Kamai are running through. Oh, Just run, catches run, a nice goblin. Run, but run, run, they see run, him. Run. They see him with the ward. They see him with the ward. They see him they jump. Get the fuck. They still has really good vision. Oh, he's getting Disperser. I like, I like very much that bottom ward. Near the tower. Mm. I, I like this one a lot. I'm surprised that it stayed up this long. There like, is some weird. It was on the war. edge of the center region, like just one pixel out. Oh dear. Okay. Can you see my drawings on the map when I draw? Uh, no, I can't. No. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, That's because we crashed out, didn't we? I think, oh, and then I would normally be I, able I, to. I if you look bot lane, can you see my drawings? Can you see mine? Oh, I can see them. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can. Okay, yeah. This. Uh, if you go to the where the Rubik is on that ward spot cliff, okay. This cliff here, I really like this ward spot. Like um, the one just mm. beneath the stairs, that one's really nice. Oh, okay. Oh, he's out of the center. Yeah, that's a cliff. So yeah, it's got that's a cliff. Flying, that's it's that's got flying huge. vision. Yeah, so you can't see it if you've got a sentry here, but it's a cliff. Yeah. Okay, I'll remember that. Anyways, they reset. They're trying to. They uh, might try and go for another push. Again. I don't know what. Why did them? Yeah. I think uh, Spherical might be respecting their opponents a little bit more now after a few failed high ground attempts. You know when like you get this kind of like wave of dread go over you? Yeah. After, yeah. It's that kind like, of thing. You're like, on the high ground they are strong. They catch Kamaya. Kamaya's BKB starting to run out. Can Obs catch him? No. Okay, committing oh. misses, dig slap misses. E not being used to this due to this mind break oh, silence, but what did he? Oh, okay, he's used his BKB on this No arena up. Right. Arena already been used. Here comes the focus fire. Sleeping moon might go down here. There's a hook. Oh, what are you doing? Not the bomb. Oh fuck. There's a hook. Oh. Breaks on the timber saw. Timber saw likely going to get away here, but again, you trade nothing. You trade egg for an eight. You don't even trade egg. What did they use to get that Aegis? They just um. Clicked him with focus fire. But... You trade focus fire for an Aegis. That's huge. Yeah. And um, like Timber's... everyone has to use their BKBs. Like Timber, Timber brought Ag's blessing. He simped his axe. 
<laughs> so he's just got a shitty slot in his inventory. Nah, he's, got him <laughs> he's technically yeah. only got he's technically only got three he's technically only got four items now on this timber yeah. saw. <laughs> There's oh, a hook! Oh, oh. He had enough pecs. Braxy gang sleeping with again! Braxy absolutely killing it! I knew! I knew that we should believe in this man! This There's a hook! Oh, oh so close! So a little prematurely. Oh, but blinks forward. All we needed was the blink. Cookie used. The was two here. What the oh, he hell? blinks over the haste rune. <laughs> Is it to get away? Braxy really wanted to go for more okay. there. Nah, don't get that off yourself, man. Get back. Oh, they're can... really trying to get more. Step to side. <laughs> Step to side of Sean Connery. Oh. <laughs> You're going to have to slap them. <laughs> You're going to have to slap them. <laughs> oh my what god, the fuck Braxy! What was Mars doing there? He just watched it. Oh, that it. hook! That was. Kind of like my Magnus. Oh. And unfortunately, I think. Um, if we come back, the comeback is beginning now. And that is a 7k gold swing. Oh, uh, I think you will back as soon as the monkey picks. Braxy, lowest in net worth in the game, but highest impact of <laughs> the last five I mean, the last five minutes. If only the fantasy points were working. Bloody Man, go back, go back, retreat. Oh, could it be to be the fake back though? George Foreman and Grill have no sorry, um Team Spherical have no wards on this side of the map, so they will they will not be able to see if it is indeed a fake back or not. <laughs> yeah, but when the render has no mana, we are a bit low resources. Scardion sniper though, so he's oh, Braxy's rich. Tanky. Again, I would like to see him get a bit more damage though. I'd like to see him um, swap out his Wraith Band for like a much yeah, bigger item. Good. Don't buy a Crimson Guard. <laughs> Crimson Guard on Pudge, mate. That's what he's got. Crimson Guard on Pudge oh, at 42 oh, oh, minutes. Is... Yeah. Uh, Wind Ranger, there's a, there's a fucking Rubik behind you. Uh, <laughs> there's a Timber about to die. Trying to wait out. Desperately Ooh, trying to wait out, but. Oh, there's a hook. Oh, an arena used. Many ults being used right now. Here comes the globs. They're going to get Kamaya. Uh, they need to oh run. my god, this Phoenix. Um, they got the MVP. So do they see him? Away. Oh, they do see him. Uh, and down goes Obnot. They had a ward for that fight, too. Really. Uh, I think the Phoenix just um, dived the wrong way. If you dive to the low ground. And finally, finally, this last tier two is going to fall after Spherical started pushing it about 15 yeah, minutes ago. No, no for the defense in... Yeah, no buyback on him either. Unfortunately, I believe this is going to be a very difficult hold, especially not with Braxy, the MVP of the high ground pushes. There's a hook. Clavic they do have some good spells, though, that they can just and they, are, and they are going to retreat. They respect, yeah. they respect the punch. They reclaimed uh, the gold they lost. Uh, they threw earlier. earlier. Yeah, they're back up to uh, <laughs> back up to 14 gain net worth lead right now in this game. Let's have a look at some graphs. Uh, yeah, there they are. It's still a game. They, they can still do it, especially if they win a couple of high ground fights. There's going to be a Jeevers soon on them, Scotty. Oh fuck it, I've. I've lost my smooth camera control. Okay, cool. Right, we're back to manual. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> so, because that fucking crash. <laughs> sort your goddamn Report game out. Report the stream. Report the stream. Bad, bad ops. <laughs> bad ops. Mrs. Kills. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. First Blood. Mrs. Kills. <laughs> huh, slap them. Slap them right in the French. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you gotta teach them what are ops. Uh, <laughs> here we go Kamaya Kamaya on the hunt this uh, this um, interestingly enough this uh, this kind of semicircle of wards that um, Team Spherical will set up are all about to run out at once yeah they did it all at the same time yeah. so, oh. they've only got like one ward left yeah they're going to be losing um, if we switch over to Dire Vision they're just they're losing a lot of information right now on Dire it's all gone. Oh, not oh, teeping in on the on the wave. Kamaya watching. Uh, 
Oh, they're all setting up. Quite leaving. Oh. Unfortunately, another another missed dick no, slap. No, but where the fucking? Well, okay, no, they're no, no. all bot, and Roche is going to be respawning top. It's um. Not the not the best place to be playing right now. I feel like we might actually get uh, the first game in a while that we've um, got to see potential of sixty minute items. Oh, crikey, I, I was just thinking, I was thinking that, but I thought you were going to say tier four because I didn't think you were going to go go so oh, far. Just, just, am I yak? Am I yak? Sixty minutes. Are oh, they? Oh, yeah. did he spear him to the low ground? Oh no! Yeah. And then he oh, ults Marina as well. Down. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. He is that one, doesn't he as well? Oh, by the demon heads, you're here. Why are you right, Timber the finally has hex. He's, he's, okay. well, he doesn't finally. Have it. He's had it for ages, but he he's um. Sure. He's had enough of going in and then a single hero shutting him down. He's had enough. I think you just buy heart now. Just... Heart, heart or octarine, maybe. Octarine, you probably get less. You get more. You get more. Uh, you get more ags uses out of octarine, but um, heart just makes it so that you have a shit ton of a shit ton of survivability. Why well, you go like Halberds? Because evasion's super nice. He is gonna. He's, it looks like he's he's going for a reaver item at least. He is going for the overwhelming blink. I don't hate. I don't hate that. That is fine. Smoke. Okay. I'm not no, I've done a no monkey now. Well. Smoke up. Smoke up from George Four Manning Grill. They are gonna try and go for a kill here. Maybe they catch one of the supports. Oh, Clavic symbol. Clavic symbol buying items at the shop does not see anything, but Braxy is panicking. <laughs> he thought that he had more people with him. Another side going in for Rubik. Okay. They're putting another scythe on Rubik. These these are uh, this team team spherical, they're all on the same page. They're building a. they got they have three scythes, they're gonna have two blade mails. Like they've a lot of uh, a lot of item overlap. They know how they wanna win these fights. There's gonna be a lot of pigs running around. Sniper going a lot of pigs in the gap. Oh no. Oh no! Pig in the gap, absolutely. What is their bat. banner on? <laughs> it's, George, it's George Foreman. <laughs> Fantastic, I haven't noticed it. <laughs> it's just I'm half of George Foreman's such face. A weird angle. <laughs> you're, looking at the, you're looking at the bottom flags, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was looking at such a weird angle. What the fuck is that? Like they've just fucked their, They've done the thing where they have uploaded it as a whole image. So they only get half. There's a hook. Oh, Rubik is dead. And so oh around. my god, this monkey oh, yeah. was so lucky that Mars Arena came a bit late. I actually would have Popping killed the Blade Mel, using everything. They are just using the monkey ult. They're using the monkey ult as like a sphere of safety. Oh, oh nullifier. Yeah. Down the nullifier down. used. That's a dieback, I believe, on Wind Ranger. Yes, it is. Um, not, and they get the racks. Will they, will they leave? Or will they try and get more? It looks like. Actually, trying to get my kid on Sleepy fight. Moon. They can fight on. Um... Uh, yeah. Oh probably. my god! Obnot, unfortunately, not doing the damage on this yeah, sniper. Obnot stood his ground. He had yeah, every, he had I don't like the three forces here. I think he got in with something big. He didn't pop this master man. Unfortunately, I believe that George Foreman and Grill might. They might just. Steve Spherical might just take the megas and leave here. No, but they're actually going to make a throne attempt, or at least take down yeah, the effigy. You can't do that with a... Oh, look at those snowballs being fired! Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god, he's just doing everything he can! Oh! Yes, a hook! Yes, Braxy! Yes, Braxy! Instantly oh, dies, oh, BKB used. You just kill the gun! Why are you assassinating? Kill him! He's gonna... Oh. No, he's oh, one click away. Be, the sights are being used, unfortunately. Oh, that was criminal. Oh, and with that kill... The uh. And with that kill, the full team wipe of George Foreman and Grill has been has been complete. Oh, well, looking at um, the effigy from Obnot, which says, let's get stoned, it gross. explains. And there's an egg! The egg! Yes! 
H H G eight says Osnov. <laughs> Not sure what that means. Maybe it means good luck next. To be honest, way better performance from stream team uh, the foreman here than game one. At an I bar to pass, but a you get in get. Hmm. Yeah. It was a much, much more coherent performance as well. I feel like they yeah. picked a, they picked some much, some much stronger team fight rather than just picking individually strong heroes, which is obviously it's worked out for them. Um, Braxy, Braxy for me MVP, <laughs> MVP yeah. of my heart. <laughs> like that double looking fountain to keep the the monkey king and stop the push. Like that alone, I think. Lengthen the game for 25 minutes more. I, I want to know why this Timber had five, six k gold in the bank and decided with two item slots to simp for Zags. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you make mistakes, but you know what's not a mistake? Tuning in tomorrow on this stream to hopefully, if it goes ahead, see the showdown between. Jeff and Hooligoons, which will, which I believe will be going live at seven, if our information is correct, seven or eight. It will be advertised in Discord. Um, but anyway, back to talk about this game. What would you like? So you think George Foreman can bounce back? This series brings them, unfortunately, to it puts them in a very dangerous position. Uh, let's see what the schedule is. So. Me. George Foreman and Grill now at zero six on ma on games. They GFG is them, right? Yeah, they can still. Uh, there is Stinky. That's gonna be a good uh, occasion for them. To play. They've still got to play against. Um, they've still got to play against bad lads. Bad lads who, sticking true to their name, have not won a game yet. They're currently zero eight. Yeah, but they think. But wait, is it this thing updated? Because okay, it was not mine. Um, yeah, I think. But no, I think battle is a little bit more they they can chew. Yeah, they're zero eight, but they went like the top, all the top dog of the. Yeah, video. I understand what you mean. It's like they've only it's it's an it's an imbalanced like yeah kind of thing isn't it mm. but um i i believe that george foreman and grill they they're still they're still in with a chance of making playoffs even though they're, they're the zero six they've played against some strong teams they've had some they've had they've had a bit of a rough run but um i think they could bounce back i think they could easily make playoffs they just need to keep doing more of what they did in the second half of that game use their like pick some team fight pick some, pick a good uh, a good balance of team fight and damage keep it simple um, don't worry too much about coming out, exploding out of the lanes. They I kind of. Any... Yeah, sorry. Sorry, go, go. No, you go. You go. I mean, I think they must invest in the sniper. I see them in lane and also in the late game. It did work for them. Uh, I think that, that, that that's a good direction to go, in my opinion. Also, the pads. I mean. You need to ban the fuzz against them. Oh yeah, I think, <laughs> I think this might be like some sort of star, some sort of star player hero uh, combo oh, that they've got yeah. going for us. It's uh, such an item build to blade melt. The blade into, melt first. Into blink. <laughs> I into crimson. <laughs> yeah. You need to you need to respect this Braxy Pudge. Other other group. Uh, what's what group are they? Other. Other group B teams, you need to respect this Braxy Pudge. Because when he wants to hit a hook, he can uh, he can take you for a ride. <laughs> anyway, let me say it, like I said earlier, come back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have another series for you. Tomorrow will be Toffee's last group stage series before he goes on holiday. So make sure to tune in. There will, I, will all, I will still be casting series with special guests for all of week three. Um, but I will not be here for week four at all, I'm afraid. I will be back for playoffs, but it depends if, if the community casters are still needed or not. But uh, 
thank you as always to you. our wonderful guest, our wonderful guest panelists. Do you have anything you would like to uh, anything you'd like to plug before <laughs> before we end the stream? No, I, I just have to thank my friend for giving me that beautiful avatar that you can see on the stream. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. She, she did like... <laughs> Nightmare blood plantation. No, no advance whatsoever. Like in a half an hour she whipped it out. So... It's very good. I love it. I'm yeah. going to keep it. We'll get you back, matey. We'll get you. We, you might not be able to sit up front, but we'll um, we will use That's this avatar fine. again. And uh, uh, thank you. And uh, thank you very much to FedEx for joining us with your insightful mid analysis. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you looking forward to the other the other games in your groups? So you looking forward to playing against George Foreman and Grill and Seam Spherical? I believe you're in. Uh, you are in the you are in the same group, group aren't you? I think we're group A. Yeah, you you, no, you played you, against um you played against George Foreman and Grill, but you've not played no. against Team Spherical. Oh. oh no, you're only oh, no, only you're in Group A, yeah. Oh sorry, that's hey. Goonfellas. Yeah. Are you looking to uh you looking forward to either meet, meeting either of these teams in Group George Foreman and Grill or Team Spherical? You looking forward oh, yeah, to meeting the playoffs? Up. But I haven't been putting that much thought in it. Which, what we at Jeff do focus on the next series and the next series alone. We don't think too far in the future. We we think in the now. We're we're a team of moments. Very cool. Very cool. Good words. Good words from NC FedEx. <laughs> anyway, let's uh let's prepare the raid. We're gonna send you over to um over to Ted. Anyone who's still here, um. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy electricity for now. Mm -hmm. Am I wasting time? Cause I'm already gone. So long. Can you stay the night? Cause you're the thing I want. I want. I know you're feeling different when you're stressed out But even with no makeup you still stand out Cause no one makes me feel the way you do now Like you do now The way that you move your body You make it look like a hobby Every time that you touch me It's electricity Things we discovered Underneath last night's covers Everything came so easy Oh!